Hi everyone, this is Taylor with Civil Engineering Academy and today we'll work a short theory problem from the PE Civil Water Resources and Environmental exam. So the problem statement says, which of the following statements correctly describes algae and its growth? And we need to select three. So we have A, all algae contain chlorophyll. B, algae can use light as an energy source. C, algae can take up nutrients nitrogen and phosphorus. D, during the daylight, algae cause the water pH to go down. E, algae can derive cell carbon from carbon dioxide. And F, algae can only exist in an oxygen-free environment. So the PE reference handbook is probably not going to help us in this problem, and we're just going to have to rely on our engineering judgment and recall from previous water treatment classes some fun facts about algae. So let's go through this. A. All algae contain chlorophyll. Well, we know that algae are like little plant cells and plants contain chlorophyll. Um, let's be wary of this word all. I would say most algae contain chlorophyll, but probably not all. I don't know which ones don't in particular, but just using some rational test taking skills, we want to be wary of these, these words like all or never, things like that. So let's cross off A. B, algae can use light as an energy source. Um, this is true because, again, algae are like little plants, so they use um, light and then they also uptake nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus. We know that. Um, to produce more algae and grow. And D, during the daylight, algae cause water pH to go down. Um, if you don't know this, just keep going and see what the other options are. But you should know that algae actually cause the pH to go up because since they're little plants, they uptake carbon dioxide and these um, nutrients and sunlight and that's how they grow so that leads us to B or E sorry that they can derive carbon from carbon dioxide that is true um, and going back to D since they uptake carbon dioxide that will actually increase the pH to make it more neutral because we know that carbon dioxide has an acidification effect. So D is not right. And lastly, F, algae can only exist in an oxygen-free environment. Again, staying wary of these words like only, that's probably not true. Um, we know that algae need to grow in aerobic environments. That means oxygen rich. Don't assume that algae grow in anaerobic environments. So the correct answers are B, C, and E. And if you need more help with your studying and journey to take the PE Civil Water Resources exam, be sure, be sure to check out more of Civil Engineering Academy's courses and study materials.